What screams I'm poor but pretend I'm rich? Mike Tyson. I bartend. Hennessy. Leasing a car. Anyone who posts about their MLM side hustle, smiley face. Brunch. Bragging about eating red lobster. Going to play bingo at a casino. Cars. Cars seem to be a big flex. People will buy old Mercedes and BMWs when they can't afford to maintenance it or in most cases repair it correctly. Wearing any clothing that says pink. Posing with car. I feel personally attacked right now. Does accent count? Low cars. Gucci slides. Supreme. Voting Republican. Escalade with rims. Driving an expensive car, but being too cheap to pay for parking or registering the car in the state you live in, guy in my CA apartment complex, parks in the free spaces on the entry level and car has had FL plates for 18 months. Supreme. Most of today's rap videos. Poor bastards. 80 to 90% of Instagram. Once had a guy come into my business wanting his laptop to be better. It was missing a few guys and looked like shit physically. He literally wanted it to look like a better laptop because looks are important. He then told me about this great business opportunity where you could make thousands a month and he had been in it a while and was told the problem was he looked poor and if he looked rich he would make it. Poor Batard was balls deep in an MLM. Tried to sign me up for it. Did what we could re-replacing missing keys and physical clean. Charged him way under what I should KD have and tried to warn him in the meantime. Never saw him again. So yeah, MLM people ate poor but pretend to be rich. I have a friend that calls out people for having fake name brand bags slash clothes, but most of their name brand stuff is several year old severally discounted stuff anyway. If you buy Gucci or whatever fucking BS if the name is emblazoned on it all over, you're poor and make bad financial decisions. The quality shit they're known for, has a tiny tag just like everything else because that logo shit is gaudy the world over. I'm all for quality products that will last, but goddamn do these people not realize how much of a sucker they are? Looking at you two whoever makes those fucking expensive purses sewn in Thailand by sweatshops and your street knockoff is probably better quality in terms of stitching. Not to mention most high-end designer fashion shit is burned at the end of the season so as to perpetuate the limited supply. Please, that shit's made by machines and they can crank them out super fast if there's an actual draw for the $10,000 purse. Any fashion or branded label stuff. Like LV and Rolex for example. All rich people get their fashion and branded stuff for free. Anyone pays for it is a month. The CLA Mercedes. The Mercedes for folks who can't afford a Mercedes. Leasing a BMW. Speaking in a British accent slash tone and buying expensive items and not knowing what the 4008 to do with them. New car but living in shitty city with a long commute, I'm looking at you Tracy slash Stockton slash Modesto. Driving a 25 years old Corvette. Gucci. A Dodge Challenger. The favorite car of people who can't afford the car they have. Hiring Rudy Giuliani as your personal lawyer while sitting in office as President of the United States of America. Overflexing labeled clothing. LV, Gucci, etc. Sovereign rings. Especially when they are plated but same same. A famous Margaret Thatcher quote. Being powerful is like being a lady, if you have to tell people you are, you aren't. I'd extend that to being rich. If you flaunt money or luxury items, chances are you are likely financially poor, and certainly character poor. Renting a high-end penthouse for a night and pretending you live there. Renting a high-end sports car, or worse, walking into a dealership and posing in them. It's all for the gram of course. I spend all money on my car and still with my parents. Literally me. People taking pictures of their manicures on top of a Mercedes emblem and then posting on Facebook. Having the latest iPhone to post selfies on Instagram but in the background of those selfies is the wall inside your house with exposed brick. iPhones, AirPods, pretty much anything Apple. 
self-proclaimed serial entrepreneur. Asking the government to bail out your spaceship company. Wearing a flashy watch. Posting quotes that you're a boss babe. Bragging about expensive sneakers. Trump Tower. Social media posts about the money you've spent and even more so, discussing the price of things outside of a purchase. This was really hard for me in the beginning. After inheritance, I still struggled with spending money that my lifetime of tiny budgeting couldn't afford. I balk at the price of things still and often catch myself telling friends that I can't believe I just spent X amount on a new fridge or airfare. It's just tasteless to discuss price so openly with people socially I guess. Wearing clothes when it's 110 degrees out and 100% humidity and you live in America. These people talking about how much dollar they make from dropshipping, Amazon FBA, and all the other scams. Showing off their rented cars, rented homes, and fake private jet photos. People who are really making bank don't feel the need to prove they have money. Driving into the soup kitchen with an expensive ass car. Not about fake richness but if you bought the book The Subtle Art of Not Giving a FCK, then you technically gave a fuck. ITT, people hating on the iPhone. American Seagull clothes. Eating ramen for dinner in a fresh new pair of J's. Deaf wearing expensive mainstream clothing, most rich people don't wear Gucci designer jacket with Spongebob's face printed on the back as rich people have usually enough common sense to just dress cheap, unless obviously they want to show off at events and meetings. Anything with Gucci, LV in huge letters on it. Sometimes high-end name brand clothes, shoes. You'll see rich people wearing regular stuff you can get from a local clothes store but some poor people spend their money on expensive name brand shoes and or clothes like Gucci or Louis Vuitton. Is it a type of walking clock? A Gucci cap. Buys loads of useless shit. Chrome 22 rims on a beat up 2001 Impala with a rattle can paint job. Wearing super expensive vanity items, clothes, watches, chain necklaces, stud earrings, etc., while also living paycheck paycheck. Asking this question. Having a designer handbag. All those tacky brands like Gucci, Versace, Supreme, Louis Vuitton. People like Mega Chodis waving that shit around. Hashtagging boss bitch. The Valley. Starbucks photos on social media. Where I'm at, there are a lot of F350s and Lexuses parked in front of trailers. Does that count? Fancy rims. Dodge charger. iPhone. Gucci anything, it just screams I waste good money on clothes or purses or whatever the fuck it is, and I will flaunt it to prove my worth. If you're flaunting clothes or money, your worth is near zero. Fake eyelashes. Gucci belt buckles. Bragging about anything you own, I think. You just show it. Roll up in it. Wear it. Eat it. Pay with it. Do it. If it's just a normal baller thing you do. Why talk about it? A blinged out Chrysler 300. Big rims. Posing with a car you can barely afford to have. Huge homes. There are many people who are pissing away a comfortable retirement for them. Gucci belts. Shiny, big jewelry matched with cheap shoes. A Telfar bag. Carrying slash wearing anything with visible Louis Vuitton logos. Doesn't even matter if it's counterfeit, that has become the official logo of being ghetto AF. Driving up to a bar in an expensive car you rented and just hanging in the parking lot. Cubic zirconia. Boy if you don't get yo ass out a home depot. Reddit premium. Expensive athletic shoes. Literally everything I do. Pretending your Chrysler 300 is a Bentley. Driving your BMW to your apartment. You don't own a house but you have a Louis Vuitton bag or any bag worth $10,000 but you rent where you live. Having any name brand items. Especially Gucci. And Gucci sandals being the pinnacle of that. Expensive car, cheap apartment complex. Pinky rings. 
Supreme brand clothing you might own a $500 shirt but that means nothing in the long run.